Hi, I'm Kara, and today we're writing a pop song from scratch. I've been writing a lot of fun and upbeat pop songs lately, so I figured we'd switch it up, slow it down, and write a pop ballad in the style of Adele using FL Studio. Today, I have a special guest engineer, Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. That's right. We're using FL Studio to record all of our ideas so we can simply go to our downloads and we're going to drag in the music and FX stems into a project set at 80 beats per minute. So let's drop in our music stems first. Now we're going to switch from pattern to song mode because we already have an arrangement here in FL Studio. And to begin recording your voice, we just need a track set up for vocals. So I'm going to rename this one Kara. And this will be the channel that we record everything on to, but it's not going to be the channel that we leave the recordings on. So below that, I'm going to set up a track for lead vocals. In an Adele song, there's not really a lot of stacks and doubles and harmonies. Mm -hmm. Since we're really emulating that style in, in this pop song, we're going to stick true to the solo lead vocal approach, maybe sprinkle in a couple things, but for now it's going to be a recording track and a lead track. So let's assign this to track number 13. And then track number 14 will be our lead vocal. Now let's attach our microphone to our channel and choose channel one, which is where Kara's mic is connected. Then here we have our arm for record button. We could right click on our actual record button and make sure that audio will be recorded. I'm gonna mute Kara's channel so that we don't hear her voice doubled. We have her voice mixed in the headphones through our UAD console app. We're gonna bring it down onto a channel that's not muted, but we're gonna mute this one. The first thing I always do when writing a song is record in a bunch of melody ideas. For me, songwriting is spontaneous and intuitive and for me to just get on the mic and sing melodies without having to worry about the story or the lyrics is really helpful to get the idea flowing. So the first thing I notice is that I want to adjust the structure of this song. So let's customize these stems to make our own arrangement. We could very easily edit these stems and extend the verse with the blade tool. And I'm just gonna make a slice here and I'm gonna make one more slice at the very beginning. Hold shift to make a duplicate of all of our content. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut command B for duplicate instead of duplicate. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never forget it. Before we listen back to these recordings, I like to have a vocal chain in place to give these ideas the best chance of sounding great. Reed, why don't you go ahead and load up the plugins? I do want to reiterate the fact that it is super important to have a great sounding vocal template and great sounding stems to start or chord progressions. All of these tools play their part in practicing becoming a better songwriter, singer, and producer. So this simple vocal chain of auto-tune, compression, low cut, and reverb is all we're going to need to make our ideas sound fantastic as we listen back to our recordings. Since we're writing a pop ballad in the style of Adele, I really want to explore elongated notes that create tension and sadness because this scratch vocal already sounds like a sad song. I'm 
that melody is already pulling at my heartstrings. Do you feel that tension? That is the first step, in my opinion, to a great song. If you can feel something without there even being any lyrics or story to it, you know you have a great melody. There's three elements that I always like to capture when I'm writing my lyrics. Number one, the story. What's happening in the song? Number two, the emotion. How do you feel about it? And number three, imagery. What does it look like? I feel like the best pop songs intertwine these three elements effortlessly while still keeping the song conversational. So songwriting is just a bunch of ideas bouncing off of each other. And when I hear one word or phrase that I like, that's when I start to really think about the details around that phrase and how we can create a story out of it. To me, maybe this person's a mortar to love. It's a relationship that didn't work out. I don't know the complexity of why it's not working out just yet, but I can at least get started on that feeling or that storyline. A mortar to your love taking it day by day until my heart stops beating your body's cold to touch i got a feeling that you lost all of your feelings a martyr to your love taking it day by day until my heart stops beating So I'm hearing the word distance in there, and just based off of that word alone, we can kind of shape a concept around that. Maybe the person that we're in a relationship wants to have a break, but you know that the ultimate fate of breaks is a breakup. You're right, maybe we need a little distance, but distance turns into goodbye. Romeo and Juliet is a title that I've had in my list for a really long time, and I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to use it. If you wanna say you're sorry, you know where to call me, but you don't even try. couple little imperfections in there that make it more authentic and vulnerable. And I think that's the perfect emotion that we should capture for this type of song. Romeo and Juliet was a tragedy, so I really want to throw in that word somewhere. A fairy tale story is a tragedy. That's the story of my life. A fairy tale story is a tragedy. That's the story of my be great to throw the word end in there because it actually rhymes with Juliet. And this is where it ends. Ooh, Romeo and Juliet. We're just alluding to the fact that we are these fictional characters that end in tragedy even though it was a great love story. If you want to say sorry, you know where to call me. But you don't even try. Melodically, every time I do a second verse, I always like to switch up the melody slightly just to introduce a new idea to the listener and keep them on their toes. I'm drowning in the waves Taking me deep away It's only black and blue 
Now, usually in my songwriting process, this is the point where I start recording in harmonies, doubles, and ad-libs. But for this song specifically, I really enjoy the one lead vocal. I feel like it really makes it feel like it's a live performance, and it's a very vulnerable and emotional experience. So the only place that I'm going to add ad-libs is in the intro. Mm -hmm. So the last thing that we're going to do is add a master chain to make the song sound more balanced and louder. A master chain is a great way to glue together all the instruments in your song. So let's grab Ozone 9 here on our master chain in replacement of the stock limiter. And here in the presets menu, we're going to go to Kara's custom preset, Kara for Ozone 9. So let's go ahead and take a listen to the final master of our song. Taking it day by day until my heart stops beating You're right, maybe we need a little distance But distance turns into goodbye So there you have it, songwriting and recording an Adele-style pop ballad from scratch in FL Studio. If you want to check out my mastering chain for Ozone 9, I'll include a link in the description below to IamCara.com. My name is Kara. And my name is Reed Stefan, realest puppet in the game. And I'll see you guys next time in another session.